Now, a few weeks back during the build-up to the Kyle Army Nine Hour, I joined the Pepper family for a braai, which is a barbecue for you non-South Africans. And I had a chance to chat to Tasman about the season ahead. It was a season in the baby carts when she first started. <laughs> the first race she ever led was at Swatkops. She had That's about right. a, a three-quarter lap lead. Don't know where this got pulled out of, but she was leading this whole race. She stops in the chicane. And now I think the cart's broken. I sprint over there to check what's going. The cart's still running. I say, what's wrong with it? My nose is running, Daddy. Can you wipe it? <laughs> yeah, make him so a I break. A, I'm five years old, okay? <laughs> I took an oily rag out of my pocket, <laughs> lifted her visor, wiped her nose, closed it, said, okay, off you go. Will you go and finish the race now? <laughs> you all sorted now, eh? Yes. Racing next Everything's year. confirmed. So I'm really excited about that. And you flipped racing... Eight Formula rounds one. with Formula One, yeah. So our oh, calendar is about man. to come out. Um, so yeah, it's, it's looking really good for next year. Mm -hmm. To be in a single seater and with on a Formula One weekend, uh, it literally doesn't get better than that. Yeah, but I think also in terms of just the tracks that you go to now as well, I and mean, it's going to be, <laughs> Jay's going to be spending a shitload of time in the simulators. More, yeah, um, and more suited for single yeah. seaters, isn't it? Um, no, like Norris Ring, I mean, how you guys race there? No, it yeah, was terrible. I've never been on such a bumpy circuit in my life. Like, literally going down the straight, your head is like bobbing up and down. Was there any point in the year where you didn't think you'd go racing next year? Was that a reality? Um, I was actually really scared. Um, I think because I'm one of the oldest, well, I'm the second oldest in the class. And when they initially told us that the series was cancelled for this year, um, that plays in the back of your mind. Like, if they do do it again next year, who they're going to put in, um, who they're going to exclude, you know? And who, like, it would make more sense to exclude the, the girls that are the oldest. I see that you almost at the end of your Ex career. Exactly. Are so, of... like, the chances of us getting it, like, pushed out before a 16-year-old is a lot higher. So, yeah, I mean, I was really nervous and we hadn't heard anything. I mean, we did the, the virtual series as well and I did pretty well in it, but you still don't know where you stand. And I think they kept things really quiet for a very long time because... They were working on something really, really important and really good. Which and was the announcement of Formula 1. Exactly, and they didn't want to share it until they knew for certain that it was going to happen. But you sitting there thinking, oh, we're working on something, it could be the <laughs> yeah, end of the season. Yeah, like, no exactly. Race, we series. haven't heard anything. I tried like asking questions and everyone's like, oh, um, there's big news coming, but we can't share with you just yet, you know. So... But what are you going to do differently now? Because I know when we spoke, it's like actually so difficult, the WC, because you don't get to spend time in the car like you would have like you said you'd have loved to have had more time in the car to get it figured out but is it not the same for all the other girls uh yeah you can say that but i mean jamie chadwick has been racing the entire year in the current car that we're going to be competing in so she's done so many laps How? and she got sponsorship and they pay for it to race so she's been racing the entire year in the f3 mm -hmm. car that we're going to be racing in next year so in comparison to everyone else in the field, she's going to be here where everyone's going to have to get to that to that point again, you know. And it was the same last year where she came from F3 the year before. So she was already here and everyone else caught up to her. So she's always going to be that person that you're going to be chasing in, in the championship but initially. I, but I guess you're not going to get any more laps with Formula 1 now anyway if you're on that program because that's such a well, tight... That's, weekend, that's, get... that's the thing. I mean, last year in DTM, we had a pretty good schedule. We had a lot of time on track um, because it was us, DTM, and maybe one other one the class. Classic, you know, yeah, the that, races, exactly. Yeah. So we had a lot of track time. Where now, Formula One, we're going to have very limited time on track. I mean, is it not time for you to move to Europe? Uh, oh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, empty question. Marius, I but think, I mean, if you're there, I think it would up? make it a lot easier. But like I said, I, I'm not 18 years old, you know, if I was 18 and um, chasing that Formula One dream again, um, yes, definitely move over there and make it happen, you know, but I'm 31 next year and I got a full-time job. Uh, got for a, your dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you say that, I think it's harder working for my dad and than a normal boss, okay? It's going to be, they expect more. Exactly, so um, I have that to do, so I literally fly out and fly back in and on the Monday when I land back home, I'm straight going, my dad picks me up and I go straight back to work. It's hard, but it's it's worth it in the end. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I've been given this amazing opportunity and i got to give it my all, you know. And if something comes from it, a GT3 drive, a Formula 1 drive is never going to come from yeah. it. Okay, I'm way too old. But you never know what else could come from it. So i got to be there and i got to do it. 
and I gotta make the best of it. So I mean, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Tough being a pepper. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I is wouldn't it tough? say. I mean, there's this pressure. You look at your book and what he's achieving. Your dad, you know. I think yeah. I mean, Jordan's made it like a really good name for himself, and um, my dad obviously has his name behind him, and so I think competing. There's always been pressure to to be really good but I think we've always been given that opportunity and we've always performed you know and we're, I've competed against guys my entire life and gone for championships in South Africa multiple times you know so um, I've, I've never really been on the back foot I've always competed at the highest level and now I'm competing at W Series it's hard but like I said it's worth it and I've loved every single minute of it and this year has been really difficult not racing yeah. I mean first year in 25 years I haven't actually raced anything so <laughs> virtual racing isn't quite the same no, you know it keeps your keeps your brain sharp and your concentration but you've got to have a bumming seat yeah no got there's it. nothing else so I mean I've been doing as many laps as I can in the cart um to try and keep physically fit driving wise um, yeah I'd love more and more people to know Tasman Pepper because unfortunately that level of motorsport just doesn't get the the exposure. level of exposure that a rugby yeah. player or a cricketer gets and I just think what yeah. you're doing at that level is just amazing and people should be yeah, people should be screaming out about it. Yeah, I mean like you you know me and um, I'm not one to like step forward in front of a crowd and say hi this yeah. is me you know and um, that's just how I've always been and maybe that's the reason why I haven't got as far as I should have initially maybe at a younger age but just to make it into W Series made me really proud competing against over a hundred odd goals in, in the world you know so it's not just in South Africa or just in Europe or it's from everywhere so and they are the best of the best and so just to get be able to get back onto that international level is really cool. special to me yeah. and now next year we're going to be racing alongside formula one and they're like just so it yourself, it, it, just like if that's the end what a way to like yeah. to end it because you are good enough to be there now you must go and kick off and i mean and that's what i said to my dad um after the end like i got in from last year i finished in the top 10 but before going into the last two rounds i was sitting pretty in like six seventh <laughs> position you know and i made one mistake and that pushed me so far back and i just kind of got into a place I was like I need to get into next year like I yeah. need to have another chance at this you know I'm just starting to, to get there you yeah. know I'm just starting to find my place and I don't want to leave now and so I kind of went into reserve mode and I think it secured me the spot and I went straight to my dad and I was like okay we like I've secured that position next year it's 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 all in i don't have anything to lose but i have so much to gain from it that's my mentality going into next year and that's what i'm pushing Can for be good <laughs> no it's as a super stoked uh, yeah. really happy for you thank you